Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, we were discussing the hadith 1894 of Sahih al Bukhari. The sharah of the hadith we were discussing. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Asawmuli wa an bihi. Fasting is for me and I will reward for that. All amal, all good deeds are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, and all good deeds are rewarded by Allah Himself. Then why? Allah say, Asawmuli wa an bihi. Why? So there are so, there are so many uh, views regarding this among the scholars. So we discussed uh, eight views regarding this. Now the ninth view is that in the hereafter, all good deeds of a slave, all good deeds of a man or a woman will be given in compensation to other people who plea or who complain against the person. Eh? That he abused him, he took his property, he attacked him like that. Allah, oh Allah, he abused me. Eh? Then uh, one other person comes. Eh? Oh Allah, he took his took my property. Then the person's good actions will be given in compensation to the other person. Okay, eh? follow. Yes. Now, here, one hadith is that regarding this. You see, Ibn Uriyayna's hadith. Ida kaane yawmil qiyamati yuhasibu Allahu abduhu wa yuaddi ma alayhi min al-madhalim min amalihi hatta la yabqa lahu illa sawm fa yatahammal Allahu ma baqiya alayhi min al-madhalim wa yudkhiluhu bi sawm al-jannah. That is, when it is the day of judgment, then Allah will conduct the hisab. Allah will conduct the Hisab, accounting of a slave, of, an, of a man, then all the complainants, all the complainants against him will be there. Eh? Then it will be compensated, the complaints, the complainants will be given compensation from the persons, from the slaves account, good deeds. Okay. Then, there all the good deeds will be finished, exhausted, given in compensation. Eh? Then, there will be left fasting, some only. Then, what will Allah do? Hatta la yabqa lahu illa so. Fayata hamman Allahu ma baqiya alayhi min madwalim. Then, the responsibility of the remaining complaints, Allah will take up. Allah will take up the responsibility of the remaining complaints. Then by yudhiluhu be sawmi al jannah, and with that fasting, Allah will enter this person into jannah. Allah will allow the person to enter yeah. jannah as yes, paradise. Then, now, قال القرطبي قد كنت استحسنت هذا الجواب إلى أن فكرت في حديث المقصة فوجدت فيه ذكر الصوم في جملة الأعمال حيث قال المفرس الذي يأتي يوم القيامة بصلاة وصدقة وصيام ويأتي وقد الشتم هذا ونرم هذا وأكل مال هذا الحديث وفيه فيؤخذ لهذا من حسناته ولهذا من حسناته فإذا فنيت حسناته قبل أن يقضي ما عليه أخذ من سيئاتهم فطرحت عليه ثم طرح في النار فظاهره أن الصيام مشترك ما بقية الأعمال في ذلك. That is, Ibn Qurtubi explains uh, that I also held this view that fasting will not be given in compensation. So from the hadith of Ibn Riyana, we see that we understand that fasting will not be taken up as compensation against the for the complaints, complainants. Okay, uh, as compensation or fidya like that. But uh, Imam Qurtubi says, from uh, I also hold that view. I also held such a view that fasting will not be taken as compensation for the complainants eh, on the day of judgment. But when I thought of the hadith of kafara or compensation, another hadith, not the hadith of Ibn Uyayna, another hadith, hadith is that. Eh, Ibn Uyayna's hadith is different. 
Okay. Eh? In that hadith of about mufris or pauper. Eh? Mufris means pauper. Bankrupt. Eh? One day of judgment. Who is the pauper or bankrupt? Mufris. The person will come on the day of judgment with his salah. He will have his salah, charity and fasting, everything. With the, the bundle he will come on the day of judgment. Good deeds. He has done so many good actions, good deeds. Eh? Salah, charity, fasting, like that. Then, the people who have grievances against him in this dunya, eh? complaints, will come and say, but this person has scolded me, Allah. This person has attacked me. This person has taken my wealth, etc. Then what will Allah do? Then Allah will compensate them from his good deeds. Eh? And when all the good deeds will be finished, including fasting, there the fasting is not accepted. Eh? Unlike the hadith of Ibn Uyayna. Okay. Eh? So, this is more authentic, this hadith. Eh? Yes. Then, and all, when all the good deeds will be finished, no exemption, fasting. Not, uh, fasting is not accepted here. Okay. When all the good deeds will be finished, what will Allah do? That is, فَإِذَا فَنِيَتَ حَسَنَاتُهُ قَبْلَا يَقُبِيَ مَا عَلَيْهِ The person complainants still in queue. Eh? Complaints have not finished. His good deeds finished, including fasting. Okay. Then what will Allah do? Allah will أُخِذَ مِنْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ Is uh, the complainants the complainants سَيِّعَات evil deeds will be taken and فَتُّرِيَتْ عَلَيْهِ It will be entrusted upon the person eh, who came there with so much good deeds eh, all good deeds finished compensation given still persons complainants were there okay then their sayyat their evil deeds taken by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then it is given to that person who came there with the, so much good deeds he expected too much rewards he expected paradise but no it's of no use because in this world he squandered other persons he backbited other persons okay he told the ill of others that's why he became a muflis a pauper in the hereafter okay so here the fasting also is not accepted eh? including fasting the compensation is given now thumma turiha fin nar allah na'udhu billah min dhalik allah may allah guard us from such a situation Amin. Yes. Then he will be put in the hellfire. He will be put in the hellfire. hellfire. So it is clear from this hadith. So along with other amal, suyam, some also will be taken as compensation if needed. Okay. Follow. No. No, Ibn Hajar says, if Ibn Uyayna's hadith is confirmed one, then the view that fasting will be specially exempted from given us compensation, that view is possible. Eh? Ibn Hajar says, please see, now uh, see, we see Abu Huraira's hadith as recorded by Ahmad. All good deeds may be given as kafara or fidya or compensation except fasting and fasting is for me and I will be giving reward for it now Abu Dawood Attayalusi records Muhammad bin Ziyad in his musnad eh? that is saying قَالَ رَبُّكُمْ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى كُلِّ الْأَمَرِ كَفَارَةٌ إِلَّا الصَّوْءُ your Lord the High told all good deeds may be given as compensation except fasting in Shorbas reports, other reports. We see, 
كل ما يعمله ابن ادم كفاره له الا سو all the good deeds of the son of adam may be given as compensation except fasting so there are many hadith that which accept fasting from compensation to the complainants on the day of judgment still we should take care we should not back back to this we should not tell ill of others okay eh then no problem at all eh no in sahih al bukhari itself ma bukhari records in kitab at tawhid li kulli amalin kafaratun wa sawmu li wa ana ajzibi for all deeds there is kafara or compensation and fasting is for me and i will reward for that here the word illa is not there illa illa harf istisna that is meaning accept eh? now imam ahmad records on hadith kull al amali kafarat all good deeds are kafara no so so to be noted that all good deeds are kafara or compensation for bad deeds for bad deeds there is kafarat from good deeds bad actions so yaat will be compensated by good actions that is ibn uh, in hudayfas hadith fitnatu ar-rajl fi ahli wa malihi wa waladihi yukaffiruha as-salat was-siyam was-sadaqah that is the fitna of a man in his family property or children will be expiated by salah fasting and charity hmm? no ashiruha the tenth view is that fasting is such that fasting as such is not revealed externally eh? externally superficially fasting cannot be revealed to other persons that's why allah related fasting specially to him and there is a report from ibn al arabi where allah says that ikhlas or sincerity is a secret which is directly connected to allah alone and none else ikhlas the ikhlas of our mind is directly connected to allah and no one else none else okay eh? then he would allah would take the affairs of the qalb of the person who loves sincerity or ikhlas eh? the person who loves sincerity or to be sincere to allah to be sincere to allah ikhlas mukhlis that person's qalb will be taken by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay eh? similarly uh, or sincerity ikhlas and that such a qalb would not be revealed to any angel nor shall they write it he would take the affairs of the qalb of the person who loves sincerity the person who loves ikhlas not the devil devil can destroy such a heart but the sahih hadith which says that if one intends of doing a virtue or khair and even then even if he can't do it he intends to do something some good thing but he didn't do it or he can't do it he couldn't do it then even then it will be recorded as one hasana if one person intends to do a good thing but he can't do or he couldn't do then even then that will be regarded or counted as one hasana one good if the person do it will be counted as 10 or 700 times eh? good deeds like that eh? so here the action of the qalb also will be rewarded eh? it is so it contradicts the report of ibn al arabi just mentioned we just we mentioned here eh? that is the action of the qalb also will be rewarded or punished like that then no all scholars agree that fasting which is mentioned in the hadith that is as-sawm li wa ana ajzi bihi that is countless rewards such a fasting eh? which type of fasting not simply fasting eh? fasting not simply giving up eating or drinking or sexual intercourse with one's wife or with one's spouse like that eh? not only that that much but fasting the fasting which 
which is offered in limitless or countless reward is such a fasting that it should be free from all types of verbal or uh, any other type of sins maasi all types of sins the fasting person should be free from all types of sins with his tongue and with his all other organs okay eh? then only the person will get the reward mentioned here eh? that is countless or limitless reward by allah subhanahu wa taala special consideration by allah subhanahu wa taala okay this this view this is the uh, scholars all almost all scholars agree upon this view now still imperial arabi quotes from some zahidin zahidin means those who have zuhud zuhud means zuhud mm, zainuddin makhdum quotes uh, one po- uh, in one poem uh, two lines that is from hidayatul adqiya ila tariqatul awliya about the ways of the awliya the person who is very near to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala awliya allah awliya allah eh was had wa la faqd ilaqat qalbika bil mal la faqd lahu taku aqala was had you should have zuhud eh you should be free from all dunya's affairs eh okay this worldly affairs to be free from worldly affairs that is called zuhud eh such a person is called zahid okay eh zuhud wada and what is zuhud it is wada means wadalika it is a zuhud is faqdun ilaqat qalbika faqd it is Uh, negation of negation negative eh? negation of ilaqata the connection of qalbika you are you are hurt your mind the connection the negation of the connection of your qalb your heart bil mali to the property to wealth to worldly desires to this world to this dunya it is the connection of your heart to, to property to this world to this dunya that is called uh, the, uh, the the connection that connection should be lost and that is called zuhud the negation of the connection of your heart to property or to this world eh ولا فقد علاقه قلبك بالمال لا فقد له not the negation of the property you make a have property eh yeah? you can have property you can have wealth you can have wealth you can have agriculture you can have a good home like that you can have all these things but your heart should not be in connection with the das eh yeah? eh yeah? should you should not love that property you should love allah you should love allah, allah. for the sake of allah everything for the sake of allah wazhad wala faqd ilaqat qalbika bil mal la faqd lah taqu aqala then you will be among those people who are intelligent who are wise okay wazhad wala faqd ilaqat qalbika بالمال لا فقد له تكو اقلا so such people are called zahidin the ibn al arabi quotes from some zahidin the type of fasting referred here is the fasting of the khawasul khawas eh? that is the specialized people from amongst the specialized people then ibn al arabi quotes the four types of four types of fasting based on the standards of people siyam al awam one type the fasting of the common people which is simply the fasting from eating drinking and sexual intercourse that is simple fasting eh siyam al awam that is the fasting of common people commonest people 
Then, Siyam Khawasil Awa, the fasting of the specialized people from among the common people. They are common people, but specialized from the common people. They are common people, but they are specialized from the common people. And they, their fasting includes, that is, uh, fasting from eating, drinking, sexual intercourse, just as we said in the case of the fasting of the common people. Eh? But uh, above that, they will abstain from all types of sins also. And so that is the second type of fast. Now, the third one, Siyam al Khawas, fasting of the specialized people. That is, they fast from everything other than the remembrance of Allah and His worship. Eh? Now, Siyam al Khawas al Khawas, it is the highest form, and such persons fast from everything other than Allah. That is, It is the sublime or the highest position, highest rank of fasting. All can't attain such a rank. Okay. Not all persons can attain such a rank. No. Still. Uh, the prominent or the most authentic or popular view is that all persons who abstain from uh, drinking, eating, sexual intercourse and such acts which is, uh, make the fasting invalid or in, uh, void eh? and uh, all persons who uh, free from, who are free from or abstaining from all types of sins, such persons will get the reward mentioned here. It is asawmuli wa ana ajzibihi. So, fasting is for me and I will reward for that, Allah says. So, all persons who abstain from evil acts during fasting will be getting this reward. Okay, follow. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum